The pituitary gland is a small gland localized just under the brain, and it controls most of the hormones in your body. It's a bit like the director of an orchestra. Pituitary tumors can grow slowly, and they can start to compress the structures under the brain. Once the tumor is uh, diagnosed, we'll discuss the findings with the endocrinologist, the neurosurgeon, the neuroradiologist, and then we will find the best treatment for the patient. My name is Dominique Venn. I'm a neurosurgeon specialized in brain tumor surgery. The most important part to make a surgery safe is to plan it properly. So these tumors are usually approached either through the nose or under the lip. And the first part in the nose is done by the ENT. Then the second part of the surgery, which is the tumor removal, is done by the neurosurgeon. And this is a surgery that has been done for more than 100 years. But now with the technology, it's extremely safe. What helps neurosurgeon is the visibility. So we use microscope or endoscopes to see the tumor. And during surgery, we use a navigation technology which is a bit like a GPS, and it recreates the brain in 3D. And all our instruments are tracked by the system, and we can follow our instruments in this virtual brain. So this makes the surgery very safe. And there's no external signs. It's either under the lip or in the back part of your nose. The first part of the surgery is the opening of the nose that can be done directly in the nostril. Then once we reach the the back part of the nose, we open the sphenoid sinus. At this point, the neurosurgeon will come and will open the base of the skull to reach to the tumor. We remove the tumor very slowly, carefully, and once the tumor has been completely removed, then we reconstruct the skull and we remove the endoscope. And that's the end of the surgery. Patients usually will wake up in the operating room and then they will be transferred to the intensive care unit where they will stay one night. After one night, they go to the regular floor where they will be followed for a few days, usually three to five days. We will measure all the hormones in the patient to make sure that they don't need additional medication after surgery. And then they will be discharged, they will go home, but they will be followed on a, on a regular basis in our clinic by the endocrinologist, the ENT, and the group of neurosurgeons. Sometimes during surgery, we will find that the tumor invades or surrounds important structure. And at that point, we will decide maybe to leave a small remnant of the tumor. If we have to leave a small tumor remnant, patients might need also other treatments, such radiation therapy. The brain is the most important organ of your body. It is very fragile, and this is why neurosurgeons, when we operate inside the brain, we take all the precautions not to touch the brain. We use normal corridors to avoid any retraction or pressure on the brain.